Dwayne Goodpaster with All Drains Plumbing here in Middletown, Ohio. Uh, we're getting ready to do a uh, preventative maintenance here at a fire station. Uh, came through a couple weeks ago and did an assessment on all the drains that need to be cleaned. We're going to be doing all the bay drains here in the parking area for the fire trucks and then we're going to go upstairs and do some sink drains and shower drains um, inside the building. He's going to pull this truck out in case they need it. Some of the issues that we run into with these old buildings, uh, this particular building uh, has never had any of these drains cleaned before. Uh, it's been something they've just kind of dealt with. So we uh, have to go in and try to find access to get into all these drains. A lot of the covers have never been off. Uh, Claw dog may be a little bit too big for this particular drain. We're going to take the uh, drain off, take the uh, basket out, and see what size and style traps in here. We use a, a Spartan Warrior uh, to do all of our hydro jetting, 4,000, 18 gallons a minute. Um, we can clean up to uh, 500 feet. Several size flex shafts, the K9-102 and the K9-204. And, uh, and we also use the clog dog to do uh, a lot of lateral cleaning. Uh, we use that half inch, 125 foot. Just everything that comes off these trucks, they, they keep them really clean, so they're always washing them in these bays. Uh, so we, we find all kinds of stuff in them, but uh, we can always get them open. Since we're in a fire station, you know, these things get a lot of use. There's probably seven, eight, ten people here at one time, shaving, washing the hands. Um, so just got some debris built up in this drain that we're going to remove. Get them flowing again. Okay, I'm going to run the the rigid flex shaft K9102 uh, through this inch and a half galvanized drain line to remove any blockages. Okay, we've removed a lot of sludge and um, just some rust buildup from over the years uh, and uh, restored flow to the drain.